her last name. Oh. Her. No, it's not that Armstrong. No, no, I was just saying, it's got a great name. Yeah. If you're going to be a, a cyclist, right? Well, and she's great in her own she, right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't hear. I had my little ear thing <laughs> in my ear. Yes, okay. Let's talk well, about the weather, shall we? Congratulations. That's awesome. Yes, it is. Okay, well, awesome. time-lapse video. What we're seeing is a mixture of sunshine and clouds moving over central Idaho. But this area right here, Redfish Lake, which has been plagued by a lot of smoke, from the Pioneer Fire is really not doing that badly. In fact, the air quality here in the Treasure Valley is back to green, so we're A-OK. -okay. We got good clean air. So the Pioneer Fire seems to be just kind of smoldering down a little bit. It's still an active fire, of course, but the weather conditions are certainly helping. We have a line of showers and thunderstorms stretching down into central and southern Utah. But right here around extreme northern Nevada, look at this little batch of rain. In fact, there is some isolated pockets of thunderstorm activity out there. Most of this is going to stay to the south. There may be a couple of showers that develop over the Owyhee mountain ranges later on this evening. But it looks like the best chance of any scattered showers or isolated thunderstorms will be moving into the Magic Valley. And then the real dry air starts moving in here tomorrow. So the high temperature so far today, 77 degrees. Where are we supposed to be this time of the year? Let's look at the average. It looks like the Almanac says 92 degrees. That's where we're supposed to be for daytime highs. So we're probably going to top out at about 80 or 81 degrees. And then tomorrow we start warming into the mid 80s. And low last night got down to 51 degrees, which was cooler than average by 10 degrees. So nice and cool this morning. And on our satellite imagery, what we're seeing is very dry air that's out here to the west of us. It is a westerly flow in an area of high pressure that's going to take over. But the unusually cool pocket of air associated with this trough that's been kind of hanging out over the western U.S. is gradually going to go away. By Friday, the high pressure ridge starts to take over. That's when temperature readings start going back into the 90s. And then by Saturday and Sunday, Computer model suggesting that the high temperatures here in the Treasure Valley will be approaching the mid to possibly as high as the upper 90s. So we're going from unseasonably cool to unseasonably warm, if not downright hot, by Saturday and Sunday. And then I'm going to have to keep the temperatures on the toasty side going into next week. So here you go with the uh, future cast through the day tomorrow. Again, maybe a few little mountain clouds, but here in the Treasure Valley, it is going to be a blue sky day tomorrow. And looking ahead toward Friday, the high pressure starts to build in. The air just keeps getting drier and drier, and then the temperature readings start jumping up. So here's my seven-day forecast for the Treasure Valley. 86 degrees for the high tomorrow. About 5 degrees warmer than what we're going to end up seeing today. Then on Friday, we take it up to 91. On Saturday, 96. On Sunday, sunny and 98 degrees. So I'm going to say it's going to be a downright hot weekend. And then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, temperatures are still going to be fluctuating between the low to the mid-90s. So this nice, cool break that we've had has been just delightful, but it's about to go away as Mother Nature reminds us that, hey, hang on, we're still in the middle of a summertime pattern, so enjoy the summertime weather while you can, because come September, then we're going to start seeing more of these cooler fluctuations. Yeah. Yeah, nice looking weekend this week. Very First nice. summer weekend. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Roland.